Let's see, chat. I gotta see all this. You know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. Shit is crazy right now. I'ma keep it up with you, bro. My take on this whole face thing, bro. I'm not surprised a lot of these people got dropped. And the reason being is because a lot of these faces that are known for face bring a dynamic authenticity that is for not just gaming, but IRL concepts when it comes to creating things like or creating brands or creating moments for face that will help boost everything for face. So, uh, like if I go through this list, bro, I'm going to literally tell y'all. If I go through this list, bro, I could probably say reasons why these people are kept. Like there's literally reasons why. And Besides all that, when it comes to the gaming part wise, the only person they really needed to keep that represents the gaming wise for them overall is Jev. They don't need no more gamers. They really don't. They're looking for entertainment. They're looking for people that are really going to sit here and really bring the energy that they need, not just sit here stream. The streaming is cool and all, but that's not what they want anymore. That isn't like, we got right here, boom, right? We got who's still in there. We got Adapt. We got Apex, a founder. We got... Banks, OG, these are all OG founders. Jev, OG gamer, goaded gamer, one of the biggest gamers for FaZe Clan with millions of subscribers that has a big value. Kason opens like the DJ parts, helps with a lot of events, main DJ for them, helps with music collabs, brings their music side to the limelight as well. Nick Merckx, another successful gamer, content creator. When it comes to gaming, those are people that they need to keep. Replays, OG sniper, need to keep. Ronaldo, variety, brings the energy, variety content creator when it comes to certain things, big in Fortnite as well. When they need a Fortnite person, they can bring him and swap everybody else out that was unfortunate for them rug biggest og subscribe biggest og youtuber for them as well scope another sniper big sniper for them uh swag biggest biggest black creator for them when it comes to warzone helps open the doors a lot help bring in a lot of energy and a lot of uh just a lot of creativity for them overall temper og rage another big big top five black streamers of all of twitch and kick so like Zuma, biggest esport one of their biggest esports guys that helps all around everything bringing their esports together as a whole they don't need nobody else for for real. And that's understandable. Like at the end of the day, that is understandable. The people that left or that aren't on the team anymore are not on the team because of certain things that they don't need them for. When you're on a team, you're needed for certain stuff that you bring to the table. You gotta ask yourself at the end of the day, even though you may be favorited by the creator, what can the creator bring to the table? What are they what are they doing that's different? Like I would suggest if Santana was doing more food stuff, I think, and he brought that to them more often. It really showed them I could bring out the food branding more, make us become a collective when it comes to like the industry of cooking. That might have kept them on there. But other than that, they weren't looking at the Warzone side. They were looking at fit. Swag is the only guy they needed for Warzone. The rest are OGs. Rage is one of the biggest creators who's going to help them. And they're going on a new route. Like, it's literally simple, bro. Like, it's nothing else to it. Like, I'm being real. Salute to everybody that's in this situation, but I ain't going to lie, bro. It's, it's not a surprise that's happening to me, bro.